The Albright College football team set school single game records for both total offense and passing yards as the Lions demolished visiting Wilkes University 65 to 26. Individually, freshman kicker Jordan Lodice equaled a school record with eight point after attempts, making seven and missing the single game mark by one. His ten points were tied for sixth most ever by an Albright place kicker. Senior Scott Pilar caught nine balls for 220 yards, the sixth highest total in school history. Zach Roth led the rushing attack with 73 yards, while senior Josan Holmes had 60 rushing yards and two scores. Albright's passing attack was nothing short of extraordinary as Adam Galzinski, TJ Luddy, and Griffin Eldridge combined for 545 yards on 29 of 35 passing. Galzinski was 20 of 26 for 377 yards and three scores, and his completion percentage of 76.9% was fifth in the school record books. Luddy was a perfect 7 for 7, and Eldridge added two completions on his only attempts of the day. Josan Holmes gave his side an 11 point lead with a one yard dive in the final minute of the first half, putting the Lions ahead 24 13. Golzinski then threw three touchdown passes in the opening seven minutes of the second half to put Albright up 44 13. On the first drive, Holmes wiped out a 15 yard penalty with a 51 yard screen pass, leading to Bacala's catch at the back of the end zone. Bacala then got behind the Colonel defense for an outstanding diving 40-yard touchdown catch on Albright's next possession. Luddy got in the action with a 52-yard scoring bomb to Pilar to make it 51-20. Albright's defense saw solid performances by players Ryan Ott with a team-high nine tackles including three for a loss and Francis Hall, Albright's only sack of the game. Albright improves to 3-0 with the victory and moves to 1-0 in league play after winning its MAC opener. The Lions are on the road next week as they play Kings College at 1 p.m. I'm very pleased, you know, with uh, with what we were able to do today. You know, we talked to our guys about a total team effort for four quarters, and I think we had that out here today. I and mean, we certainly made some mistakes. I know. Our, my defensive coordinator, Mike Coy, is not real happy with the yardage we gave up and, and you know some of the some of the big plays that we gave up. So we've got to fix some things. Certainly, we had some penalties on on special teams, blocking the back. We kicked the ball out of bounds on, on kickoff, uh, and you know we didn't run the ball as consistently as I would have hoped, particularly in, in the first half. But that being said, to be able to come out here and, and put together you know a, a day the way we had in terms of the results uh, was just tremendous. I mean. You know, we started out a little bit slow. It took us probably a quarter to you know, kind of get our feet under us. And then I felt like, you know, offensively we certainly exploded. And then we had six consecutive drives with touchdowns. Uh, you know, we went in, we had, a, I think it was a 10-point lead at the half or 11-point lead at the half. And we were talking at halftime about, you know, you can't, a team like Wilkes, I mean, you can't let them get back into the game because they, they've got an explosive offense as well. And, and uh, you know, last year at Wilkes, uh, you know, we had, we had come from behind to take the lead, and then we gave it away. You know, we let them retake the lead on us, and, and you know, and, and they beat us. You know, at the very end of the game, we threw a turnover, you know, threw an interception. They beat us, and so at halftime, we said, "There's no way we can let these guys get back in this game." So, we made the decision to open up the second half. Uh, you know, throwing the ball, and, and we went. You know, three drives in a row right down the field, throwing the ball. You know, for touchdowns, and, and that's really what made the difference there because now. You know, now they're down whatever it was, 20 some, 30 some points, and now they had to start throwing the ball, and then that created some of the turnovers that we got from our defense. And, but uh, yeah, overall, I'm very pleased. Uh, I think you know this game probably you know allows us to earn some confidence, certainly in our passing game in particular with our quarterbacks. And um, you know, uh, hey, we're one and zero today, and we're zero and zero tomorrow, and uh, everything. When we wake up tomorrow, everything we do is, is geared towards. I'll uh, be in 1-0 next Saturday against Kings.